Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue, it's Toledo, Ohio, 4361-419-531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. Uh, and then you can find the Facebook information in the description below. And you'll be able to find pictures of the comics from this video on the Facebook page. Again, in the description below. I just had somebody come in. Brought me X-Men 94 through 106. These comics are very, 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 very nice looking conditions. Uh, um, they had to sell these comics. Uh, it's, it's, I won't really go into, but it's, uh, always tell when somebody, you know, certainly has a love for comics. Um, uh, because you can tell they're selling them not because they want to, because something has come up that they have to. Um, these comics here were in Mylar. Looks like, uh, from what I to understand, um, told me that once uh, she had bought them, they went right into the Mylar. These things look like they're brand new. You just bought them just right now off of the stands. Uh, very little defects on any of these comics at all. Uh, makes me want to replace my own copies with these. But I can't do that. I can't just keep stuff just because I want to. There's the back, and I am not sure of the prices yet, so you know, don't call up and, hey, man, what, what are you looking to get out of that? So I, I am not 100% sure, and I'm going to try to, since I took the pictures, um, attempt to uh, put some on the, the Instagram, finally go back and get back on that horse, uh, but that's the 94. I looked at... I looked at it on the inside. Trying to put as least amount of um, stress on the book as possible. They are certainly complete. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. Next up is number 95. And we're going to look at that. Colors are so vibrant. Uh, just the shine on the covers. Hope that these uh, are going to go to a good home and not put into a zoo. But there's going to be people that will be putting them into a zoo. And there's not just one 95. There's two number 95s. has me excited that this was a exciting times for the X-Men. You look at these There's, there's virtually no creases. These are certainly 9.4s, 9.6s, maybe even, uh, I would, I'd have to say, you know, certainly, you know, 9.8s. Hell, there might even be some 10.0s in here, 10.0s. 
that these things are so so nice and uh, you know there's a little bit of waviness there that certainly can be can be pressed out and some of these might uh, might invest a little bit more money in pressing on some of these but these these things the first time they've been out of their their mylars but they've all been in mylars and these these this, this tape here this is the original tape the tape that's been in there for over 40 years 45 years or so and I'm, I am shocked that it's not it's not yellowed or anything here we've got 96 I think that's a Rich Buckler and, uh, or Gil Kane and Rich Buckler cover. We're going to pause here momentarily. And there's two of them. We've got two number 96s. Uh, I'm not going to bother pausing right now. We're going to just keep doing this. The other ninety six. Ninety seven, only one number ninety seven. Rich Buckler and Dave Cockrum cover. The guy that was in here just a little while ago, looking at uh, showing these to him, told me he had the uh, the Evil Knievel figure. I never had the Evil Knievel figure. I wanted it, but I was a little too old at the time. There's 98. One copy of that. It's this black cover. They really show imperfections. You know, you've got you get this this piece up there. But that's fine. Certainly no color breaks. a full shot of either of those two I believe I did all close-ups on those oh, this 
this up. See the Sentinels have returned. There's Stan and Jack. There you got Nick Fury. I believe Clark Kent and Lois is in here as well. There you go. You got Stan and Jack again. So there's Clark, Clark uh, Kent and Lois Lane. I gotta move move along a little bit faster, otherwise this is gonna turn into a 30 minute video. Number 99, another black cover. I started buying New X-Men with issue 98 at that point. Found a 97, but it took years before I found a 94, 5, or 6. And then much longer before I had a uh, giant size number 1. And those are actually, it's not color breaks, those are actually the stars on the other side. There's a 100, and there's actually two number 100s. She did what I wish I could have done by, by doubles of the comics. I didn't start buying doubles of X-Men to about one, uh, 128. And again, you can find really uh, higher resolution pictures on the uh, the Facebook page I'll have up. And there's two copies of 101.
Boy, I remember buying my copy of this in Fremont. I think that was in August, July or August of uh, 76 there. All those big numbers were coming out at that point. X-Men 100, Iron Man 100, Cap 150, Avengers 150, Thor 250. Uh, man, what a glorious time to be collecting comics. Okay, 102. There's two and actually three copies. Obviously, being doubles, so you know, one of the copies was never ever read. Might have been the go days of comics, but boy, I tell you, at this time here with the X-Men, this was certainly its own golden age. If you were lucky enough to be buying them at this time, you know what I mean. You couldn't wait till that next issue came out. They're, they were coming out bi-monthly at that time. So every two months, you had to wait. You knew what week that they would come out to be at that newsstand. Boy, you made sure you were down there. Because this book was on fire. about nine minutes before this video ends. You saw each each one had this little a little white dot there. Just that was just a printing. Just for whatever reason something got on the film or whatever. A speck of dust. Who shall sh stop the juggernaut? Well, not Colossus. You got to butt hand it to him. I will not be beaten. And what happens next? Smash into uh, the, the wall, and he's got guts, but he got beat. 103. Sorry, just one copy of 103.
one copy of 104. The new X-Men meet Magneto and get their butts handed to him. Magneto just, just wipes the floor with them. Wolverine was a tough guy until, uh, until he met Magneto. Five, one copy of 105, one copy of 106. Got the complete fishing outfits on the back. 1977 models, 1295. I want to just let you know if you do like these videos and you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Please smash the bell for notifications. Please like. Please share. Please comment. <clears throat> Were you buying the Uncanny X-Men at that time or X-Men at that time? What did you think? How blown away were you by the stories as they came out? Uh, you know, what was some of your favorite stories at this time? What, what book just completely dropped your jaw? Did you come into the late in the game? Did you get the reprints? Did you have read these issues in X-Men Classics? But we're almost at the end here. I certainly do thank everybody that has watched and everybody that shared. Certainly share. Share on whatever comic websites that are out there. I'm going to pause really quick. Again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching these videos. Uh, I am, boy, been doing this a long time. Somebody comes in with uh, comics. I'm always astounded uh, by, by great comics that come in. This is certainly great comics. Certainly hope that... Uh, that... Uh, that the money uh, for these certainly helps. And... Uh, Gosh, I hope uh, there could be some very happy people that uh, she hopes they, they go go to a good home uh, and get the same kind of love that uh, that she had for them. But other than that, thanks for watching. Everybody have a great weekend. Thank you.